Hello, um, this is Mary Middlestat here, and uh, I have decided to add some videos to my uh, website because I am frequently asked about uh, how I do certain things. Um, I um, have recently been dealing with a lot of projects that have uh, the beaded edging, much like you see here, and it certainly adds a lot to your projects. Um, I uh, formerly worked in a bead store and did bead work. I am acquainted with a variety of uh, Native American techniques. But this one is so applicable to the use of wool fiber and beads can add so much to your piece. Um, I think it's helpful. Uh, one thing that needs to be known is many people shy away from bead work because they are, they've been given poor materials or incorrect materials for what they're working. And a lot of people feel beads are just too small. The beads that I am using for this outside edge here are Japanese beads, and that's an important distingu distinguishing. This is the tube that they come in, and it is uh, about a six inch tube, and you can see they're not terribly expensive. Uh, some of them run as little as 250, and other finishes, uh, depending upon how the bead is, uh, can go up to six or seven dollars a tube. Um, what's nice about Japanese beads is I've got a little sample here is they have huge holes and these beads are a size 8 and you can see with the ruler next to them that they have a very large hole in them so it's easy to see through them and they also have somewhat of a boxy shape they're not uh, the check beads are more of a donut shape generally have smaller holes and they usually come on hanks, although some stores buy them in bulks and, and put them into uh, tubes. I recommend the Japanese ones in the size 8. And, and bead numbers run the larger the number, the smaller the bead. So an 8 is bigger than your average seed bead that you are typically thinking of when you think of Native American work. But so these are these make this nice uh, edging bead around the outside edge. And you can get them in different finishes. Um, they are readily available and you can uh, get through them with a regular needle. You do not need any beading needles uh, to use these. So um, that's the first thing you need to know about um, these types of beads. Like I said, check size 8 beads will work, um, but they're more irregular. They're a little bit more donut shaped. The needle that I'm using is, um, that's important because there are some um, uh, wool embroidery needles that are not, um, they're, they're a bigger needle, or sh I should say a stubbier needle. This is the needle I'm using. It's the Jenna Kimball. Um, you have to search a little bit to find them. You can see the length of it here, and um, it's a long slender needle, and actually I have found that the Jenna Kimball needle, along with the size 12 Valdani, actually goes through the smaller size, uh, Japanese size 11 beads as well, which Kind of totally shocked me but uh, anyway so today i'm going to be showing you how i put the edging on um, some of my pieces i'm obviously backing my piece i've got it backed with wool you can see that it's backed with wool and you can also see i'm often asked how do i get the even stitches on the back because um, if you go in typically holding your piece like this if you go in like this where your needle comes out in the back is not the same where it comes out in the front now, if you do that consistently, you will have, from each side, the stitches will be even. However, the stitches on the top side will all be one length, and the stitches on the back side another. Um, I have, over time, developed kind of a unique working system uh, that breaks the mold on whether or not um, you want to work totally in your hands. And um, I work on an old lap desk. It's a beanbag lap desk and uh, this is actually my mother's and so it's old and shipped but it reminds me of all the hours she put on it and I'm forever grateful for her having taught me all the things um, that I use in my sewing today um, but I use it because I don't hold the piece usually in my hand I let it rest on this piece and I put the edge off now that is also because I tend to put um, I uh, put uh, fusible and the backing to make sure my edges are nice and clean and cut here and that is definitely a, a, a plus let me see if I can get that a little bit better there I can pull this up excuse the jiggling I'm all new to this anyways so um, 
I have fusible on my back. This happens to be a Pendleton wool in the background, so they it just cuts so nice and clean. It's just a joy to work with. Um, you can see I have been working. Um, in this stitch, you're adding a bead right along with your blanket stitch, so you kind of kill two birds with one stone. Obviously, I've done a blanket stitch. I'm going to pick up a bead. And by the way, I'm using a Valdani thread. I should show uh, the thread here. It's a size 12, and I love it. It's variegated, um, and it's a, it's a nice thread to use. So I pick up the bead, and you can push the bead down if you want. And I'm going to go in just like I were going to do another um, blanket stitch. Now, I position my work just off of the support of the uh, desk, the beanbag desk. And I send my needle as a stab stitch straight down. And it's interesting, with the fusible, the fabric is strong enough to kind of resist and stay um, firm. I bring it up just like I would a blanket stitch. I pull it through, and as I pull it through, you'll see that it catches the bead, which lays this way. The hole is sideways, so it lays um, sticking out. Now, in this case, I'm doing every other bead, so I'm going to make another blanket stitch here. And like I said, I find it very easy to work this way. Um, now what happened in that is this be this thread right here, uh, you want to make sure if you're doing this that it goes around the bead. That it, it catches the bead here, not behind it. If it catches it behind it, your bead will lay the other way. And it isn't as firm. At that point, you can simply select another bead. And you proceed to go in and again catching it and if the bead, see where the thread is coming out here what i usually do is i take my finger and i push the bead and kind of twist it and that puts the thread on the right side of the bead and uh, it's it, it goes fairly quickly once you get used to it i'm sure the first time it feels a little awkward um, obviously i've had the advantage of doing uh, other beading projects um, prior to this but uh, again, this is every other one. You can put a bead in every stitch. You could put a bead in every third stitch. Uh, you can spot stitch them. You can also see on this project where I've used it, I did that stitching this to this background, this edge and background, all in one step. I blanket stitched it, stitched it to the back and put the beading on all at one step. Anyways, you can continue around and um, I'll show you the back in a minute so you can see what the stitches look like on the back side of the piece. And you can see that they are all quite even. Um, people often ask me how do I get even stitches and I'll actually probably have another uh, video that I'll do with just regular blanket stitching. One of the things that I learned and I made my living as an artist here for is that not to look at things as a stitch. I tend to visualize a box. I look at this space. What is this space? And sometimes you want like a little bit more of a rectangle or you might want a box. If you think of it as a box and going for the top corner of the box, that type of visualization will help you come up with um, will help you come up with much more even stitches. Obviously, if you're on the straightaway, you can use tape and there's all kinds of things. But anyways, um, I just made a stitch here without a bead. But it does show you how it uh, is easy to um, square up that bead. Anyways, I hope this will give you some idea and perhaps something to play with. And maybe courage to try some beadwork because it just, just really adds sparkle, as you can see, to this project. Uh, this is a soon-to-be uh, pattern that I will be publishing. And uh, I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you.